I tell people, I thank God I don't look like the hell I've been through growing up homeless and people knowing my mother struggled with addiction. There were many instances of discrimination and uh, lack of inclusivity. When you live with people and you're homeless, there is a tendency for them to exert some type of power and control. I would say Kenosha has always been a city of resources. There were so many people that offered a helping hand. It often looked like we were a train of people walking the streets of Kenosha and we get to this building and this jolly old guy lets us in. It's freezing cold. We got our grocery bag of belongings filled with clothes and books. I think I had a journal. In college, I needed an internship. So I apply at this internship and this guy says, I remember you. You and your family came here to seek shelter in the snowstorm. You talk about a humbling and overwhelming experience to know that I interned there and I uh, went back to work there for maybe eight, nine years. Being let in that door, I believe saved our life. I got my master's at age 23, and then the past five years, I have been in school getting my doctorate in clinical psychology, and I finished it in 2019. I'll be opening up private practice this fall. I enjoy working with complex individuals and diverse people and diversity in all shapes or fashions, and I make custom purses. There was a time where I had complex discrimination and complex trauma at the same time. But to have a community and many people looked past our differences. And I think that is the key to shattering discrimination and being inclusive.